Hi students, good morning. This is Kevin Grayson, Department of Physics, Bardasana Metric Higher Secondary School, Arakon. Now I am going to discuss about the topic 11th Standard Physics, first unit, Nature of Physical World and Measurement. You know, introduction, science. What is meant by science? Science is a Latin verb, you know, scientia, meaning to know. In our Tamil language, Arivian, meaning knowing the truth. So, you know, knowing the truth. See, the science is a systematic organization of knowledge gained through observation, experimentation, and logical reasoning. You know, yes. The knowledge of science dealings with non-living things that is called physical science that is physics and chemistry and also the knowledge of science dealings with living things that is called biological science that is botany and zoology. Now I am going to explain the scientific method first topic scientific method. The scientific method is a step by step approach in any physical phenomena to find the physical activity. There are five scientific methods see here the first one is first we need systematic observation. The next one is controlled experimentation. The third one is qualitative and quantitative reasoning and the fourth one is mathematical modeling and the fifth one is See, prediction and verification. So, this is scientific method. Example, let us consider one conductor. This is the conductor for unit length. It is a source of heat. Now, in this metallic rod or conductor or metallic rod, one end is heated. See here, one end is heated. Now, in this heat, transfer from one end to other end ok. Now my dear students in this observation the following questions can be asked in this observation see one end is heated no. So in this heat energy transfer to one point to another point see the first question how much of heat energy transfer from one point to another point next one is it is possible to visualize the heat flow through the conductor or any metallic rod? No, it is impossible. Why? What is the reason? The next question, how much of energy transfer one point to another point? It is possible, it is impossible to visualize. And also, how does heat energy transfer from one point to another point? To find in the answer to this question, only scientific investigation or scientific method only solving all the problem. Next one is C. Introduction of physics. The word physics introduced by Aristotle in this year of 350 BC. You know the word physics introduced by Aristotle in this year of 350 BC. Okay. C is Aristotle. Okay, see, next one is Fusis. Fusis is here, Greek word. You know, this one is physics. Physis is Greek word, meaning knowing the truth. So, physics is here, study of nature and natural phenomena. You know, physics is meaning, you know, my dear children, physics is here, study of nature and natural phenomena. So, this is physics introduction. The majorly physics there are two concepts we need. You must learn two concepts. The first one is unification and the next one is reductionism. What is meant by unification? Unification is nothing but the physics concept few laws are unification. For example, Newton's law, universal law of gravitation is unification. Because 
the all the planets around the sun moon revolve around the earth one object falls or free fall towards the earth it can be deals with the newtons universal law of gravitation this is called unification the next one is reductionism reductionism is nothing but the macroscopic system is converted into microscopic system that is called reductionism for example thermodynamics the thermodynamics deals with the form of energy it can be deals with the form of energy and the other form of energy so it is a macroscopic system like that temperature entropy etc so this is the macroscopic system but in this concept i am going to explain micro level for example how to heat energy transfer from one point to another point so see inside the hot that means heat molecules it can be transferred from one point to another point so in this concept only micro level that is called microscopic theory same concept only that means um, um, thermodynamics same concept only but i am going to explain macroscopic system to microscopic system that is called reductionism you should need in this knowledge in our physics okay next one is c branch of physics so branch of physics classified into majorly two branches the first one is classical physics next one is modern physics the classical physics the father of classical physics sir isaac newton his concept and laws all the pupils are accepted before the beginning of 20th century this is the classical physics or traditional physics the next branch is see modern physics the father of modern physics see albert einstein is the his concept and laws are all the pupils are accepted beginning of 20th century see here first one is classical physics the classical physics is here the first topic that means first branches mechanics the mechanics it can be deals with study of force the force acting on the object the object want to changes in this object whether it is rest or motion the next branch is thermodynamics my dear students in this concept already i explained thermodynamics it can be deals with the heat energy and other form of energy so this is called thermodynamics next one is optics optics you know very well optics it can be deals with the study of light energy we are going to study of light energy light energy is obey reflection refraction diffraction polarization interference next one is electricity and magnetism already you know very well electricity see electricity is nothing but the net amount of charge passing through the one point to another point or electron flow through the conductor that is i equal to q by t already this basic concept you know very well this is called electricity so electricity also explain in this topic the next one is magnetism see this one is magnetic material so magnetic property magnetic materials and uh, pole strength everything explain in this units magnetism so already you know basic concept like poles you know like poles that means north pole north pole repels to each other and unlike poles north pole south pole attract to each other so it can be explain magnetism and acoustics acoustics is the one of the branch of physics it can be deals with the sound energy see sound energy sound is is nothing but it is a three times already you know very well ultrasonic infrasonic that is ultra infra audible range so this is the source of sound see this is the tuning fork this hammer now touch the tuning fork the surrounding molecules are vibrated in this vibration of the molecules only propagate the sound source and also how to propagate the velocity of sound this fully explain in this topic acoustics and astrophysics it can be deals with the astronomical material that means astronomical body for example 
all the planets around the sun moon revolve around the earth so it can be deals with the astrophysics the next one is relativity the relativity it can be deals with the relation between space time and some other energy that is called relativity now i am going to explain modern physics and modern physics also sub branches is lot of sub branches first one is quantum mechanics the quantum mechanics is nothing but the quantum mechanics it can be deals with atomic and subatomic particles in other words we are calling quanta or discrete packet of energy quanta it can be explained in this unit quantum mechanics that means quantum physics and atomic physics already you know atomic physics the properties of atom structure of atoms and uh, everything inside the atom uh, arrangement of atom everything explained this unit atomic physics nuclear physics also one of the branch of physics it consists of nucleus already you know nucleus the nucleus is consist of n number of proton and n number of neutron that is called nucleus so nucleus structure nucleus property nuclear weapons nuclear reactor and uh, nuclear fusion process intercellular energy everything explain this topic nuclear physics the molecular physics it can be deals with uh, only molecules the arrangement of molecules how to movement of molecules one point to another point so explain this topic higher energy physics higher energy physics is nothing but that is particle n number of particles you know protons pi on k on pi mis on so all the elementary particles it can be deals with higher energy particle the next next one is condensed matter physics the condensed matter physics also one type of modern physics the condensed matter physics it can be deals with matter the matters are classified into three types solid liquid gas and also subatomic level sub branches nano science and nano technology also it can be deals with the condensed matter physics okay okay next one is nature of physical world and measurement nature of physical world and measurement there are four type of forces in nature the first one is gravitation force you know gravitation force the gravitation force only occur in space for example sun and earth sun and moon so revolve around the sun no all the planets some of the force acting in between the planets this force we are calling gravitation force the gravitation force is a long range force long range force because distance is very very high okay it is gravitation force is a weakest force in all other forces the next force is electromagnetic force electromagnetic force it is a strongest force compared to gravitation force you know electromagnetic force already you know we are going to use in the mobile phone you know so the information transfer from one point to another point so here in this mediator only electromagnetic waves the electromagnetic waves is consist of seven waves okay we will discuss later okay now the third one is strong nuclear force the strong nuclear force only strongest force in nature the nuclear force is already you know the nucleus is consist of n number of proton and n number of neutrons combined to form of nucleus so in this force only very strongest force in nature and also the range of strong nuclear force it is a short range force because the diameter or radius 10 power minus 15 meter this is a short range force but very very strongest force in nature the next one is weak nuclear force the weak nuclear force occur only beta decay process it is a, it also short range force the range 10 power minus 16 meter okay so listen any doubts okay so these are and all introduction of physics okay thank you next class we will discuss one by one okay. now scientific method is a step by step approach studying in natural phenomena for example consider your metallic rod being heated now when it is heated the heat is transferred from one point to another point okay the following questions can be asked in this observation what happened within the rod heat is transferred from one point to another point 
what happened within the rod how does heat energy transfer from one point to another point in this effect true for all the materials no why what does heat reach from one point to another point okay now the process of finding all the answer to this question is scientific investigation okay okay that's all now see acoustic is a one of the branch of physics it can be deals with the propagation of sound and the production of sound see this is the tuning fork this hammer now how to propagate the sound energy see listen here so surrounding air molecules get vibrate in this vibrate compression rarefaction compression rarefaction so in this process only propagate the sound energy okay optics optics it can be deals with the light energy see deals with the light energy the light is obey the reflection refraction diffraction polarization interference all the principle it can be deals with the optics okay thank you electricity and magnetism so magnetism you know very well the magnetic the properties of magnetic material and the characteristics of magnets everything explained in this topic magnetism already you know basic concept north pole and north pole see here north pole north pole same pole repels to each other repels to each other now unlike poles north to south attract to each other so in this topic we will explain magnetism now magnetism you know basic concept of magnetism and the properties of magnetism i am going to explain later now simple concept you know magnetism north pole and north pole repels to each other see here repels to each other repels to each other north pole north pole repels to each other now unlike poles here attract to each other so the properties of magnetic material it can be explained this topic magnetism okay thank you